Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Smart Mouth TV, the show where we get Smart Mouths on television. I'm your VJ, Alex S. Singleman, but, but you can call me Smart Alex. Anyway, we ready to start Smart Mouth TV because we all want all Smart Mouth TV. So let's start with the first Smart Mouth of the evening, Herbert Johnson. Take it away, Herbert, or you chew chicken. So I'm at the grocery store and I go to the self-checkout lanes, but there's people lined up and they say, you gotta wait back there. And I'm like, why don't you wait back there? You hate behinds? And they say, that's very rude. And I say, you're the one being rude. I can't stand your voice. <laughs> Good job, Herbert, for a scuzz head. You know, every week on Smart Earth TV, we get lots and lots of letters. We had several letters from different kinds of letters. We get true fan mail, letters from a smart Alex, Letters from smart mouths who want to be on the show, letters from nutcases, and letters from lamos who probably need to get a life. In fact, the, the lamos who probably need to get a life, we get more, we get more mail from, from, from them than, than anyone else. In fact, we need, we need two entire warehouses for, 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 for the, for the lame old fan mail. But let's read a fan letter. This is from one of those lamos. See, her name is Anita Get Alive. Okay, actually her name is, actually her name is Amanda, but I need to get a lot more appropriate name for this little horror. Anyway, her letter reads, reads, Smart Mouth TV is the accessible program for anybody. It has no values, it just supports rudeness and hate. It'll make kids go because of objectify the opposite sex and support murdering pedophiles. May God have mercy on your soul. It's easy to tell this lady one needs to get a life as opposed to a nutcase. Yeah. But now, now it's time for another Smart Mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bill Biz. So I tell my woman that dog slobber smells like my favorite kind of macaroni. She just says, ew, I'm very offended by this. So I'll tell her, you should know it's disgusting. You came from dog slobber. After that, she slaps me in the face. So I call the cops on her. The cops ask, what's your emergency? And I say, You've got to stop asking questions, officer. Very good, Bill. Very good, Bill. And now it's time to read another fan letter. This one's from a fan, not a lame It's from B's and D. He says, Smitty and Lexi, you ain't nothing. I wish my uncle's house was like, I get cats and dogs, you got an here. And he's like, what the heck supposed to mean? And I'm like, we all know you like a porn star. He's embarrassed but proud. But then I tell my uncle, you need to keep your hair and keep your hair and he's like D -d 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 hair and I'm like it's my line and he's like D -d 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 it's my line and I'm like why do you grow up hair and he's like because my garden grows apples, bananas, oranges, and tomatoes so I asked what's tomato and he said nothing what's tomato with you and guess what I should be the host of Smart TV you know what's the end of the show you know what Beeson I don't know what to say about this because you're obviously you're obviously a good fan but you might be too good so we're not going to put you on this, on this dang show but now it's time to pay some bills. Let's pay one of our bills right now. Here, Bill, Bill Biz, we're gonna pay you right now. Give me that money, you little pick, pick squeak. You should be thankful to have money. <laughs> now we paid an important bill. Let's take a phone call from a fan. Corner 51, you're on the air. Hi, I'm Amanda. You read my letter on the air, and your show is truly immoral. We should respect each other instead of mocking each other. Your show is so rude and disrespectful. You, whatever. you off the air. There, there, there. What a lame old whore, you know. I don't know where these lame nutcases come from. Before we get to our final smart mouth, what do you want? That's right, you want your smart mouth TV, and I want my smart mouth TV. But first, let's list other places where you can find Smart Mouse. If you want to find a Smart Mouse somewhere else, look no further than Toast Street Gas Station, Diarrhea Dump Burgers, X Porn Shop, Jagger Jacks, Hard Rock Clothing Department, Melvin's Brick Shop, the local downtown community help center, and of course the offices of Smart RTV. None of these places are sponsoring us. I just thought they deserved recognition. Yeah, they're not sponsors because they're all too stupid and cheap and losers. They can't afford to sponsor us because they're, you know. One of those words we're not actually not allowed to say because the cities have a lot of cactus up their butts and stuff. And you know, but I would like to tell an anecdote about the manager of that gas station. He told me to beat it or he turned me into a beat. I told him I like turning him into a deer and stuff him in the in the microwave. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah,
time for the final smart mouth of the evening. And I swear, I'm not taking payola before introducing this one. He's doing it because he's a truly good smart mouth, not just not a case of payola. Here is Bryson Fiddle. So my mom told me, Bryson, take out the trash. And I'm like, <laughs> take out the trash. She said, Mom, my mom told me to not talk to her that way. So I said, <laughs> don't talk to me that way. What an idiot. So I took out the trash and I dumped it in the front yard. Technically, I took out the trash. That was Bryson Fiddle. And now, let's take one more call from our fan. Start talking. Don't need to start talking. Smart Alex, you need to get your brain out of your butt, grow up hair, and learn the true markings of Smart Alex. Say what? What? Also, you are a nuisance. I can do your job better than you can because you probably spend more time looking at dirty magazines, wiping your butt with dirty toilet paper, and washing your mouth out with dirty soap than you focus on making a great show. That's not true. That's not true. You are a disgrace to all smart mouths, living and dead. So why don't you just put in two weeks' notice, then call in sick and not show up? Oh, that's right. You're just smart off to your boss like a pink, like pink fisted forehead eater. Now shut up before I make you shut up. Also, don't forget to turn off the microphone, loser. Well, that was a car. This was Smart Red TV. I'm Smart Alex. Thank you for watching. We all want Smart Red TV. Hmm.